To make homemade bows, you'll need either wrapping paper or felt, glue, and scissors. The first thing to do is cut your wrapping paper or your construction paper into nine strips. They should be about an inch wide and you want to have three different lengths. So I did three that are 10 inches, three that are 11 inches, and three that are 12 inches. So cut out nine strips, three different sizes. We're going to start with our longest strips. So I move the rest out of the way and we're going to take each strip, fold it in half, so you see where the center is, and then you're going to make a loop. So you're going to take the top end and fold that to the center, and you're going to take the bottom end and fold that to the center. See how you have like an eight? And you're going to tape, glue, or staple it right in the middle. Once you have your longest three strips made into your figure eights, you're going to do the same for all the rest of your strips. So you're going to end up with nine shapes that look like this. So keep gluing or taping all your strips until all of them are in the right shape. Once you have all nine strips folded, it's time to assemble the bow. Start with your longest strips first. Place one at the bottom. Place another strip on top. Place another on top of that. Now you can glue these step by step. You could staple them all together. You could tape them if you want. But you're going to start adding layer after layer. You're going to use your longest first. Then you're going to add your medium size, and then you're going to add your smallest. And just keep stacking them one on top of the other until you're done. Once you've layered all your strips, you have a bow. Out of any paper that you have on hand, you can fluff up the loops a little bit. And if you want, because you don't want people to see, I stapled this one in the center, you don't want them to see your glue or your staple, you can make a loop out of another piece of wrapping paper and simply glue that right in the center to give it a little fluff in the middle. <clears throat> and you could also cut two strips of paper and glue them behind it. And there you have a bow made out of wrapping paper. Now I love these kinds of bows because you can match any paper that you have for birthdays, Christmas, Hanukkah, anything. You can make them out of construction paper to match any kind of package that you want. Another way to make a cute flower-like bow is to take a piece of felt. Take your felt and cut a strip that's 10 inches long and eh, it could be about two to three inches wide. You want it to be long enough that you can fold it in half easily but you don't want it to be too wide. So say three inches by 10 inches. Cut your strip of felt And once you have your strip of felt, what you're going to do is fold it in half, just like so, and you're going to glue it closed. Now you could sew it closed if you want. Uh, if you have a grown-up to help you, or if you like to sew, you could sew all along just the top line. You're just going to glue right at the top. Once your strip is glued shut, you can see you'll have an opening. See, it's like a tube, okay? And what you're going to do now is you're going to cut slits about a quarter of an inch apart all the way up your piece of felt, but you're not going to cut through the glue. So you're just going to make slits just about halfway. They don't have to be exact, but you don't want to cut through the glue. So you just keep making slits all the way up your piece of felt. Once you've cut your slits all the way up and down your piece of felt, you're going to take one end of the felt and you're going to start to coil it tightly in on itself. You're just going to keep rolling it. You want to roll it kind of tightly. You want to keep the base even. And when you get to the end, you're going to glue the end piece right to the bottom right there. If you were, if you stitched your fabric before and you want to put a stitch there, you could do that as well. I'm using glue because it's just a little easier. Once your glue's dry, there you have it. There's your bow. You can fluff your loops up a little bit. If you wanted to, you could put a piece of felt across the back so no one can see the coil. 
can make these in all different colors. You could use them to put on a hair barrette. You could put a magnet on the back and make it a fridge magnet. You could hang a bunch of them on string and make it a garland. You could do all sorts of things. Make them in every color you could find. Make a bunch of felt or paper bows and send us photos.